How's it going guys? Welcome back to my CGT Week 7 battle. Um, going up against Frost last this week, um, so it <laughs> uh, should be extremely, extremely fun. Um, if you weren't aware already, me and him are super good friends. Um, pretty much got me into competitive Pokemon, so uh, I've joined pretty much every single league he's, well, not just, if all the leagues I, I can get in that he's been in. Um, and yeah, I just so happened to get lucky enough to get in this season at the same time he did, so um, yeah, always super fun playing him. Um, kind of don't really want to play him right now. I would have preferred to play him earlier in the season because um, I've never beat him before. I'm like 0 and 12, which is crazy because I don't think it's skill cap. But I mean, the numbers don't lie. But um, yeah, just three and three, making a playoff run, like to maybe get in the playoffs. I think I'm the first team out so far. But um, yeah, knowing that I have to play him, who I have never won against. Especially in a matchup, but I don't, I don't think is very good for me. Um, not great, but uh, yeah, we'll see. You never know. Like I know he doesn't like his team very much, so um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, apologies if I ever call him Matt at any point. I just that's what I know him as. Like there's two other Matts in the league, um, so obviously he had to stick with Frost last to stop the confusion. So uh, just so I ever say Matt, no, I'm talking about him. Um, so first off, going right on, um, Drake's ult is such a big threat against me, like, <laughs> yeah, my team sucks against it, so, um, bring right on to stop it, if it comes, I know he doesn't, like, that or Gigalith at all, so I don't entirely expect them to come, but, you know, like, if I don't bring right on and it does come, I'm just screwed, so, uh, yeah. Um, Max Fidef. Just because, like, it's a ride on with Eevee, like, it's taking on any Drake, any physical Drake as well, ever. Um, so, having Max Def for if it has, like, Earth Power to hit me with, um, also helps with, like, Volcarona, because as long as Volcarona does have Giga Drain, this is, could be a good switch into it, helps with Drake, Drag Alge, you know. Um, and then I have a little bit of speed for the Drag Alge as well. Um, so, Rest Talk, Earthquake, Rock Slide, um, I, I don't need rocks in this thing, I have on Como, so, um, I think just being able to heal up, if Drake's ult does come, um, is just super, super nice, because again, like, that thing wrecks my team without this, so I need to keep it healthy if it does come. Um, and then rock slide over Stone Edge, just because, a little bit more accurate, does a lot less damage, but, like, it, this thing's not coming for dealing damage, so as long, it, can, it still Oko's full Corona, so, like... Um, next up, Togekiss. I just think it's, that's really funny, because I was talking to him, like, yeah, it's so fun bringing Scope Lens and Teleon every week. And then we are like, well, I have another thing I bring Scope Lens on. Like, I bring Togekiss with Scope Lens Super Luck, 50% guaranteed crit no matter what. So I think it's kind of funny this is the first, he's the first person I'm bringing it against. Um, yeah, so, max special attack, enough speed, out speed, diggers, be, uh, rest in HP. Um, then three attacks with nasty plot. Um, I just think, like, later in the game, um, this can come in and really just, if it gets a nasty plot off, or even without a nasty plot, it can definitely sweep, I think, because, like, the stuff that's faster than it, like, Whimsicott, Volk, Keldeo, Celebi, like, they're not Okoing it, and, um, I, it's most likely going to be Okoing them in return, so, um, yeah, I just think the nasty plot variant is super good here. Um, I wanted to run <laughs> Ancient Power just for the 10% chance I get the boost, but um, I just feel like Air Slash is a little bit more consistent, maybe get a flinch if I need it, even though I don't know what I'm faster than that I would be clicking Air Slash on to begin with, so yeah, we'll see. Um, next up, going to Kyurem. Um, Dragon Fang, it's going to be a Dragon Heads variant. Um, I obviously like freeze dry super good against his team, but um I just figured like Volcarona is um way too much of a hard well, I mean it's not, but I just I wanted the speed more than anything. Just for the Keldeo, for Volk, um, Whimsicott, uh maybe Drake is a little in sand. Um so that's why I want Dragon Ants and I think like physical looks just as good as special. Especially with Dragon Claw, or like uh, Dragon Fang, Dragon Claw being able to kill Keldeo after a little bit of chip. Which, I don't need Freeze Drive for that. Um, Lantern's not really threatening, because I know he's definitely going to bring Lantern against me. So, um, 
yeah, I just think like, outside of Celestia, like, nothing's taking a plus one Dragon Claw super well. Uh, as long as I don't get burned by Volk, of course. Um, and it's kind of dumb not bringing boots in either of my two rocks weak mons. But like I said, like, I don't expect him to bring Gigalith. I know he hates the thing. So if it comes, I'll deal with it. Like, probably poor decision making on my part, but oh well. Um, next up, going Slow King. Uh, I think it's kind of funny, because I don't think I've ever run Tango Slow King before. And this is the third time I'm doing it this season. Um, just helps with, like, Diggersby U-Turn, Volk, uh, Bug Buzz, stuff like that. Um, max defense, max HP, you know the drill. Um, this is my pseudo Diggersby check, I guess. Uh, it, it's mainly the Keldeo check, because I don't need any spit F to take on a Keldeo and max defense help with Secret Sword. But, um, yeah, it's mainly just max defense for the Diggersby to take non-banded attacks from it. Um... So, very passive, Yawn, Trick Room, Teleport, Psy Shock. Um, Trick Room, Teleport, obviously, for the Melmetal. Like, at this point, I'm, if I'm bringing Melmetal, it's offensive. I'm bringing trick, or trick Room with it. Like, that's the only way it's <laughs> really good. I can really sweep. Um, then Yawn just helps stop Celestila, helps stop Volcarona um, from setting up on me. So, uh, yeah, and then Psy Shock stops Calm Mind Keldeo. Um, Hits drag out a lot harder. Uh, can hit Volk if for whatever reason doesn't have a move that can touch me. Um, and it starts quiver dancing up. Uh, yeah. Next up, Melmetal. Um, pads. Obviously don't want to get burned by Volk. Um, I could see a Rocky Helmet Celesteela or Rocky Helmet Lantern coming. So obviously uh, don't want to take that. Um, max attack, max HP. Um, minus speed nature, but I'm not min speed. Just because I still want to outspeed Gigalith outside of Trick Room. Just because I feel like, like, who's bringing in Gigalith on a Melmetal in Trick Room? And even if it does come to that scenario, like, it's not doing much to me. So I prefer to outspeed outside of Trick Room, where it's more likely that Melmetal would be facing Gigalith. Um, Dib, Thunder Punch, Rock That Earthquake, just Dib, best move in the game, in my opinion. It's just so good. Um, Thunder Punch hits Celesteela, uh, hits Keldeo, I guess, if... I mean, I'm sure Dib does more still, but... Or at least the same amount. Um, Rock Slide hits Volk, then Earthquake hits Lantern. So, yeah, pretty normal Melmetal set, I would say. And last but not least, uh, Defensive Como, Leftovers, Max Defense. Um, Overcoat stops the Sand from Gigalith. Um, I was kind of hard debating between this and Decidueye, but I decided in this in the end, just because Brain Decidueye makes knockoffs from Diggory so free. Um, and, like, Sidra's not even taking a knockoff from Diggersby at all, so... Uh, yeah. Like, Earthquakes are more free now without Sidra, but, um, I, I still have Earthquake community. And, whereas, like, <laughs> Togekiss is... I don't want Togekiss getting knocked off, so, obviously, like, when knockoff is so free, and that's when we switch into it, like, yeah. Um, so Stealth Rock, Body Pressure Check, Rock Tomb, uh, Rock's obviously super nice, Protect, helps me get my lefties back, even though I'm probably gonna get, um, knocked off, but oh well. And then, uh, Rock Tomb hits Volk, um, cause I think there's a decent chance that if Volk comes, it's either gonna be defensive or it's not gonna have a way to touch this thing, so, yeah, and it's such a free switch into this too, so just having a Rock Tomb before it's nice. And then, um, I kind of forgot this got Body Press when I ran a defensive a couple weeks before. Obviously, like, Drain Punch is nice for getting recovery, but, um, Body Press is just more consistent with this type of Como. Specifically because it's probably the best Body Press user in the game. Just, it's super high defense and stab, making Body Press, like, super good. So, um, yeah, just Body Press is the last move. Um, so yeah, this is the team I brought. Um, I think knowing him, knowing how he plays, knowing what he likes on this team, what he doesn't like. I think this is the best team that I want to be bringing against him, but um, yeah, I guess we'll uh, see you in a minute. So, yeah. Okay, um, this is the second time we're doing this. I'm sad because I caught him with Dingus the first time around, and now you won't get to see that original thing. Um, he didn't bring Gigalith like I thought. He didn't bring Keldeo, which makes sense because I have a whole Slow King. Um, so I'm really intrigued to see what the Drake's ult set is. Um, we DC'd on the first turn. I led Drake's ult, or I led Como to set up rocks. He led Sphere Tomb to uh, who knows what. But um, I'm I'm in, I'm doing the exact same thing. I assume he's gonna do the exact same thing. So <sighs> yeah. 
we'll see. Um, Como looks, not Como, Curum looks super, super good here if I can get it set up and if I can get Chip on what its face. Um, Celestila, so yeah, that is the end game here. Um, he told me before game he's bringing a dumb set, which we always like tell each other for bringing dumb sets and what they are, but he almost sent it to me and then forgot he's playing me, so. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know what I think the dump set's going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be like Blunder Policy Drake Assault, something along those lines, just because that seems like a set he would bring into me. So yeah, just setting up rocks here. Um, I don't know what he's going to do. Okay. Oh, I did get rocks at least. He's probably either Will-O-Wisping or clicking um, Banded Poltergeist, because he's brought Band like the last four weeks. Uh, if it does like 50%, a little under 50 is Banded. That is Banded. Okay. So, he, I mean, to be fair, he did also tell me he's bringing, pa or he jokingly said he's bringing banded poltergeist against me, which, you know, to be fair, like, how is my phone still blowing up and he's not the one doing it? Um, I'm gonna go ride on. Shut up. What are you doing, Anthony? If you're watching this, I told you to shut up. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ride on. It does like 35-ish, so that's easily um, easily rest offable. I need to save a little bit of health, Poltergeist. Hopefully he just misses, but yeah, he knows I'm Eevee late. Should know I'm gonna be Eevee late. Yeah, it's not that much damage. Um, earthquake or rock slide. I think he's just content with clicking Poltergeist till he dies, honestly. I might have to sack Como, which I don't want to do, but... What's the play? I mean, I can click Earthquake, because I should be faster. So if I click Earthquake this turn, then I can rest the next turn? If he stays in? Yeah, I think that's the play. Unless he's faster than me, in which case I've made a terrible mistake. Which is not good. Yeah, he's just clicking Poltergeist till he dies. Did a ton of damage, my god. Hopefully he doesn't crit, because that would be very, very bad. Oh, god. Uh, I'm just resting here. Hopefully, it shouldn't be a speed tie. Because, like, I have a really weird amount of speed investment, which it would be also be super weird if you had a weird amount of speed investment. Um. Yeah, so this means Rhydon's pretty much always going to be at a super weird amount of HP. But, Poltergeist, actually I don't, as long as I don't roll rest, I live, but I guess to be fair, I might that do so much less, what, it doesn't get, I don't know, um, yeah, that was a weird roll, because the first one did so much, and that one didn't do anything, so I had a sleep talk, um, you might go hard sell Stila, which, can't blame him for that. He should know on rest talk though, but he doesn't know what my last move is still or rock slide, which I mean it's a pretty safe assumption when he has Volcarona. <laughs> but I also need to know I'm in Giga Drain range from Volk at this point. So yeah. Okay, switch it out. Cell seal or Diggersby. Diggersby. Yeah, Sack and Como. Hopefully I get Earthquake. I think he clicks not well. I mean, if he clicks knockoff, I'm not sacking it, actually. Rock slide, okay. I mean, it's still damage. But now he knows my first set. That, that does a ton, too, in the world. <laughs> this is right on doing so much. I think he clicks knockoff here. I don't think he clicks earthquake, just because, obviously, like, um, Togekiss is so free. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, this could also tell me if he's banded or spark or something. I don't think he clicks U turn ever. Okay, that also works for me. Uh, that did. I was at 118, did 14 damage. There's no way that's banded damage. It's a digger's speed. Uh, Scarf, level 50. U turn did 14. Uh, that's not even max attack. Huh. I don't know. I, I don't know what he. I could have been at 122. I don't know. But it's not banded. That's. Folk. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna click Rock Tim. Like, if I die, I die. Oh well. 
Um, I was just psychic damage from this range. If he's not any item. Uh, bulky. That's not bulky, but uh, psychic should kill me if he has it. <sighs> Did I get this thing up? Yeah, screw it. If he has psychic, he has psychic. I don't think he'd just go straight for it. Never mind. Bye bye. Yeah, that's not great, but could be worse. Um, I just go Como instead of. Oh, he's Boots. Uh, I do know that now. I'm just gonna go Togekiss, I think. Um, let's switch into this, honestly, like Lantern. Um, am I just nasty plot? He's not staying in for sure. Um, Lantern's definitely AV though. That's my only issue. So I could go double cure him here. That could be a play. Or I could just read Dazzling Gleam as well. Because Lantern's absolutely maxed it up. So I'm gonna double cure him here. This could be a bad play. But I don't think he, I think he always goes Lantern. Yeah. Yeah, it's Lantern. Perfect. Um, I should just gonna come out or cure him to begin with. Uh, do I dragon dance here? I kind of want to. Leftovers, so he's not AV. So that means uh, how much is plus two? Plus two crit, dazzling gleam due to a max but definitely. Level fifty, two fifty, two fifty-two. Uh, 85 max? It's not bad damage. Uh, <laughs> do I just Dragon Dance here? Honestly. Uh, I could also just straight Ice School Spear. Expecting... I, I don't know what Switch is in here, honestly. I'm just gonna Dragon Dance, screw it. He could Thunder Wave, I guess, which would suck, but I don't think he wants to take damage on this thing. If he doesn't go Celesteal, I get a... Okay, that's fine. He could just Volt Switch. I think is what he's doing. But now he knows I'm not freeze dry, which is not great. Doesn't. Oh. Okay. Okay. I can live with that. I'm just dragon dancing again. Um, how many. Uh, I could also just like high school spear and just sell a steel. Uh, steel at level 50. Um, I assume it's max. Honestly, I'm just gonna cook high school spear here. Like, he's not staying in with lantern. So, um, yeah, he's, there's no way he stays in with Lantern. Well, I mean, he could, like, he doesn't, I think he goes hard to still steal, but how much is plus two? If I plus two attack. <sighs> no, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pick high school spear here, because I think he goes hard to still steal. There's no way you just let me drag call this thing. He might just full switch here, which is fine, I guess. Um, if I get more than two, it puts it into, yeah, plus two Dazzling Gleam range. It's also in Dragon Claw range at this point. So, four times. Bolt Switch, or just Dazzling Gleam. That's super annoying. Oh, Curum is no longer the one going. Uh, if I had just Dragon Claw, it would have died, but oh well. I don't think he has Protect. Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense on this Lantern set. But yeah, if I get rid of this thing, then, um... Uh, Togi is looking super good, so I'm just gonna Dragon Claw here. Good damage on everything. I don't think I can afford to give this thing up. But yeah, this should die. Yeah, okay. So, Togi is super, super good here. I don't know why he gave that to me. Not gonna complain. Um, obviously just free Celesteela here. Which, do I give this thing up? For damage on that? Honestly, like... <laughs> I really shouldn't. But yeah, he has to decide what it's going to here. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna get the high school spear damage off. Like, if I get five, can I kill him if he's not max defense? Uh, plus one. If I get all five hits, no. Uh, I can actually if I get all five. I think I might just go for that honestly. Like getting this thing chipped down super. Uh, is oh okay. Is this Volk? I 
don't know what set that is then. <laughs> Still good damage too, honestly. Probably make it so it doesn't take double iron bash really well, that's fine. Um he knows I'm gonna rock slide here, right? Like he knows I have to have it. So I'm gonna honestly just click ice school spear. Nah, I should click Dragon Claw, shouldn't I? How much Dragon Claw? Well, I can see from that damage how defensive this Volk is. Volk around level 50. Ah, oh, Ice School Spear with two hits. Yeah, it looks to be defensive, honestly. Uh, Dragon Claw should kill it from this range, so... I'm just gonna go for that. I don't think he goes Celestia. And if he just gives me this thing, then super good for me. Yeah, okay. So I get one more kill. Uh, I can get Flame Body Burned, so that's super nice. Oh, I don't, I don't get one more kill, but I get one more damage on something. Oh, he could... Actually, he's gonna sneak, isn't he? This piece of crap's gonna sneak me. And then I just go free Togekiss and get a nasty plot. Wait, did he lose everything that's faster than Togekiss? Uh huh. Should I keep this thing alive? Honestly, does he click sneak here? It's better for me if he does click sneak, actually, because then I get a free nasty plot. So I'm fine with this. Yeah. I'm not going to set up Trick Room yet. I'm just going to go Togekiss and set up a Nasty Club. That's not... I blew it. I blew it, man. I blew it, man. <laughs> I blew it, man. I was clicking Teleport. If you click Sneak, then it's the same position. But I meant to go Togekiss there. Oh, God. That looks so dumb. Hopefully you just click Sneak again. Please just click Sneak again. Keeps me in the same exact position and lose 20% on slow king. I assume that's about what sneak would do to me. It's 50%. God, I feel so dumb right now. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Toby. Okay, he switched out. That's fine. Drake is ult. Drake is ult. Um, how much does how much does Drake's ult do to? With Life Orb Earth Power. 50. Life Orb, that's Fire Blast. Life Orb Fire Blast doesn't even kill. Uh, if he's. He wouldn't be modest, would he? Oh, yeah, modest doesn't even kill. So, yeah, I'm just going to go into this thing. Um, actually, I'm gonna go Togekiss. If he stays in. If he stays in, I know he's Scarfed. If he switches out, then. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. What is this? Sub lefties? What the world is that set? Oh, uh, he doesn't have a dazzling thing to switch in. Well, he does. He has cell steel, but I can switch into that, so I don't care. See, I'm just clean dazzling thing here. If I get a crit, it's dead. It's probably just dead, anyways. Yeah. Okay. Didn't get didn't get the crit, but it didn't matter. <laughs> um. So why did he stay in there? <laughs> what the world are you doing, man? This is. A very different game from what I usually play against him. Um, does Toyo kill some flame things? Can he kill this thing? It's max for death, but a crit flamethrower against just max HP cells deal. Huh? I mean, like, once I get a trick room up. Yeah, once I get a trick room up, this game's just over. So, um, if he tries to set up, then I can just go slow king. So I'm fine with this, I think. If I crit and he's offensive, he's dead. Or that works too. Diggersby? Nope, okay, he's second this thing, that's fine. Um, yeah, it's flamethrower. Bye-bye. I haven't gotten a crit yet, what is this crap? To be fair, he doesn't know I'm scope lens. He's taking more stealth rock damage on the one thing, so like, works for me. Uh, I guess if he's just autonomized with weakness policy, then that's what I'm for. Uh, does any Scarf move kill me from this thing? I can't imagine. Digger speed. Like, Scarf Thunder Punch? Does that kill me? Scarf Body Slam doesn't. Um, Scarf Thunder Punch? Scarf Thunder Punch doesn't either, and a crit Tazzling thing probably kills him, so we're going for that. This tells me if he's scarfed. He is scarfed. Oh, ice punch, that works too. 
means I can just go. Whew. <laughs> man. Crit. Oh, um, I give this thing up. Yeah, I just give this thing up. I just click flamethrower here, because then I get a free trick room if he stays in. So. Or if he... Yeah, I get a free trick room if he stays in. So, I can live with this. I don't need to. If he switches out, then I get probably a kill on that thing. And then I can't imagine this thing could win in the end game. He's thinking about it. If he goes hard sail steal, I just win. He's, no, okay, that works. Um Honestly? I mean I know he's scarfed. I think he might be scarfed, right? Is that faster than any dipper speed? Yeah, 143 is the max. So Um I just go this thing and click dib into Thunder Punch. I think is the play. I could also just straight click Thunder Punch to begin with, but um, <laughs> yeah. What's Ice Punch doing to a Melmetal, right? <laughs> yeah, that Ice Punch is doing crap to me. So I think this is the right play. I just need to make it so he can't kill me or sweep me. With well, this dies to rock. Does this die to rocks? If this dies, to me, maybe I should have thought about that a little bit. If, yeah, if this dies to rocks, then there's no reason not to just keep clicking Ice Punch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Earthquake. I, there's not to not to not Earth. Well, I mean, I could have dibbed, but I don't want to waste dibs yet. I guess no. There's no way I'm playing for a range. And if he's does he die if he's off? <sighs> <sighs> Totemize, Celesteela, 50. Yeah, would die to a Thunder Punch from the range he's at because of all the stealth rocks. <laughs> so he's got to be defensive, and if he's defensive, he doesn't beat me. So. Yeah, it might not die, actually. It does, like, 60 to 80. So, yeah, it's right in the range and not die. Um, There's no way he got Totemizes here. He just clicks Flamethrower, right? In which case. I sack. Oh. Is this 2 KO me? No, it doesn't even 2 KO me. <laughs> so he's defensive. Oh, or he just dies. Crit. Oh. I did it! I beat Matt! Woohoo! I hope to god he didn't throw just so I can get one of us can get into playoffs. But I, I can't imagine he did. But, um. Yeah, it's my first win against him in Wi-Fi. Well, first win against him ever, actually, in the draft league, so. Last one in Gen 8. First win. I'll take it. You know what? I don't care if he threw it. I'm taking it. I'm calling it. Run for playoffs. Start now. Well, it started way back when, but, uh, yeah. We're, we're doing it. Gotta break through Bruno and Mount Tay, and I hope I can do it. I mean, I have to if I want to make playoffs, so, uh, yeah. It's a great game, Matt. <laughs> um... I would say best of luck to you for the rest of your season, but we both know where you're going this season. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.